Thank you everyone for subbing to me. If you have, if not, then hello. But because of all the people who have subbed to me, I have now hit 250 subs, so it is time for a 250 sub special. So let me present to you a show that spoke to me in ways beyond just my mind and heart. Yep, we're talking about one of those anime. A hentai. Specifically, the hentai Red Twin Tales of Fate. It is the type of show that breaks boundaries, both through the story itself, but also how it questions society. The first scene shows our main character, Ryuji, reminiscing on life, reading a book that his younger sister, known as Emoto, gave him before moving away. But we see that he only has half of the book, an interesting symbol for the way that we learn from those around us, but only in part, before they too go away. In his Emoto's case, before she went to the moon. I also found an interesting tidbit. If you look at the book the right way, during the right frame, it looks like a black Bible. And this makes me think it is an homage of where the story came from, where the ideas came from. But again, with it only being half the book, it shows how it isn't just a copy of the past, but it charts its own story as well. In this intro scene, it was so simple, only a tiny bit of dialogue, but every frame shows a different part of the room, different parts of our main character's life that I felt I could understand despite not understanding, and I understood who this man was, what he valued, and who his hero was. Now you should know that I love the concept of heroes, but to see a hentai tackle such themes in a tender and even somber way was just really remarkable, especially as the scene fades and you see a red string fall from the cover of the book, only be caught by a young lady looking up at the sky, who we later learn is named Emily. We don't know much about her, but her red twin tails are striking. And as she catches it, in the background, you see a picture of the Queen of England. But despite not knowing much about her, her red twin tails are so striking. Or at least, they are to me. Does this surprise you? It shouldn't. <laughs> so yes, this hentai tells the story of these two lovers and the unlikely circumstances that bring them together. Through this 49 minute and 6 second long hentai, we see the stages of life and love. We see characters declaring how they have not lost their minds, but it is the world that is insane. And well, there's a lot of truth to this. And we see these main characters journey from friends to lovers to strangers to and back again, only to be reunited as lovers in the final act. They are truly weary travelers who have lost their way in their mind. And what I love about this structure is that it doesn't force the romance despite this, well, being a hentai. In fact, there's a scene just about halfway through it where it seemed like they're going to kiss, and probably a lot more. Like, he walked into the room, and there are chains everywhere, a pool floating nailed to the wall. But despite our preconceived notions, he only found a letter that she was flying back to her family in Argentina. But she left a strand behind. We don't know if this is intentional or a mistake, but it's indicative of the strands of fate that bind them together. But of course, the most remarkable scene took place on the International Space Station, and when they saw each other's face where the helmets were removed, they became believers in the destiny that bound them together. They see that despite running from their fate before, they were brought together in the most unlikely of places, and because of their fate, they were able to stay with each other through the dark night. Throughout the story, we see the characters' imperfections, how their flaws hold them back. But in the end, it was their own selfishness and fear that brought them together. There is, of course, the political things as well, which were done in such a way to take advantage of the world climate. But they truly feel timeless. I also have to talk about the music. There are some anime composers who sadly set a scene. Letting the story tell itself with the music there just give it that little bump. And that's what Shinju Tetsuo did here. Except in the end, bringing one of the math rock backgrounds to the foreground for the great climax. I loved how he had this effect in Yamato and the Seven Witches, and it was just brought to perfection here. You could tell he learned a lot from his time at working under Yoko Kano and Yuki Kajura, not to mention that special flair that you can only get from Sawano. But when I talk about the music, I have to talk about the director as well, who is Matoi Shiomi, who while this is only his third work as director, just came through 
so brilliantly. He spent about two years working as an assistant director under Nako Yamada, and also about a year working under Imaishi over at Traeger, so he really has a great background. If you like his style, then go check out his other works, Night on the Galactic Railroad and Kiznavir. I also have to give special praise to the screenwriter here, who has worked on such great stories as Legend of the Galactic Heroes, Sword Art Online, and Inferno Cop. And well, I just hope that this review makes you want to experience this hentai for yourself. When I give my full rating of 11 out of 10 to. No, wait. That's a lie. I give it a rating of Twin Tails out of 10 because it really is a one-of-a-kind show. It is so out of this world, in fact, that it is a zero-of-a-kind show because it doesn't exist. What? You guys like my last hentai review where I didn't actually watch the show. So if I don't have to watch something, why bother reviewing something that exists? This is a lot more fun. How many times have you heard a review of a show that doesn't even exist? And I'm not just being some snob who's declaring something that doesn't exist yet as a terrible show, but I'm giving praise to a masterpiece that doesn't and probably will never exist. If it does, <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. I don't know what I would do if that ha would happen. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time with a not-hentai review. Probably.